Ladies and gents, welcome to Six Figs. I'm Kyle. In today's video, we're going to be talking about AI and ICP, Definity, Dominic Williams, how we are seeing large accounts really start to take notice at ICP and Definity. So without further ado, check me out on Twitter, guys. This is where I'm dropping all the latest and greatest bangers. Like AI being demoed on ICP is insane. Dominic and the Definity team amaze me every single day. Can't wait to see what's next. I decided to nominate Dominic Williams for the second time person of the year. <laughs> this time wearing a space suit. So uh, this man is going to take us to the moon, folks. Uh, but he dropped an absolute stunner of a tweet that I think really shook us all to the core. And when it comes down to it, this was a demonstration of AI running on the blockchain as a smart contract. And this is a world first. There's a lot of things Definity does, folks, that are just absolutely groundbreaking. Uh, so let's take a quick peek at this video. Hello, everybody. I am incredibly excited today to give you the first demonstration of quite a sophisticated AI running on blockchain. That blockchain, of course, is the internet computer, the only blockchain in the world today that can run compute at scale. There's a lot of talk about, you know, blockchains for AI, tokens for AI, and things like that. This is the real deal. This is AI running on the blockchain. So today I'm gonna to demonstrate image classification, which involves a neural network running inside a small contract. In fact, that neural network has been compiled to WebAssembly, um, which is what, you know, runs on the internet computer. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Um, so this, this uh, web page you see here is being created by Canister Smart Contract with the AI inside. So I'm gonna click this logo and it's gonna ask me to select an image file to classify. So the first one's a tiger. Let's see how it does. Now, um, be warned, this is gonna take uh, about 10 seconds. Um, currently, uh, it, it's processing about 20 billion WASM instructions to classify the, the image, but that's gonna come down uh, very dramatically in the future. Well, there we go. It's correctly classified this file as depicting a tiger. So let's try another one. This one's a bit more complicated. It's like an espresso cup on a pair of jeans. Let's go. So um, uh, enhancements in the near future include support for something called SIMD instructions, which is going to dramatically speed this up. Okay, this is actually very impressive. It's correctly identified that it's an espresso, that there's a coffee mug, um, and that it's sitting on a pair of jeans. Okay, let's try another. Okay, well, it, it's a Porsche convertible. Um, I probably should have used a Lambo because this is crypto, but let's go anyway. And this is a, you know, a difficult image to classify because all the, you know, the reflections and the trees and things like that. Let's see how it does. Chugga chugga. Okay. Um, it's classified this as a sports car, which is correct. Um, it's said that it's got some wheels and pretty incredibly, it's identified that this is a convertible. So where, where are we going with this? So I'm going to be giving a, a you know, succession of demos. Um, there'll be accompanying, uh, source code on, on GitHub. Um, and we're going to be showing more, more powerful AIs. We're going to be showing optimizations that enable AIs to, to run faster. Um, in the future, um, probably within about one or two months, uh, the internet computer execution environment that runs smart contracts will move from a 32-bit WASM environment to a 64-bit WASM environment. That's very important because the 32-bit WASM environment limits a smart contract to four gigabytes of main memory. And that limits the number of parameters, the number of neuron weights that you, you can fit in and you know, uh, limits the, the power of the AIs um, that you can run. But very soon, we're moving to a 64-bit environment. Um, probably the memory limit will be raised to something like 32 gig um, over time. And our objective is to take people all the way through to running a, a pretty powerful large language model on the internet computer. So very, very exciting things ha happening. Um, I'm incredibly proud to be giving this demo because obviously behind the scenes, 
and there's enormous numbers of people who work on the internet computer to, to, to make all this kind of stuff possible. For example, um, those computations that you saw actually span multiple blocks. So that's only possible because the internet computer has something called deterministic time slicing. Um, the internet computer is a very sophisticated blockchain. It's the only third generation blockchain in existence. And um, so, you know, hat tip to everyone that, that works on it. And thank you um, for, you know, uh, uh, w watching this demo. Um, I look forward to giving you more. Um, thanks. See you. So now what are some perks to having AI run on chain, folks? Well, decentralization is probably the first and foremost thing that's important. And really, this allows information to be distributed in a computational load across all the nodes, across the whole network. And really, when it comes down to it, it reduces the risk of points of failure across the board. Um, when we think of like crypto, especially like ICP, which is this crazy, crazy product that can store data on chain, you have to think that storing this AI data on chain, you know, premier security is very important because if anything contaminates this data, folks, it's over. It's over. So data security, data privacy, it's transparent, you can audit it. Uh, there's just so many benefits to running um, ICP uh, AI. It's just crazy. Uh, but you can see that folks like Altcoin Daily have taken notice. Mentioning ICP and this new AI uh, thing they got going on. Um, a separate post, Altcoin Daily. I want to officially acknowledge ICP. So this is very cool. Uh, anyways, uh, El Chingyan. I know you're out there, El Chingyan. This was a great post. ICP coming to everyone. Bullish AF. Hell yeah, we're bullish AF. Now, what's going on with this is there's two separate articles that are clipped here. One dating back to 2018. Now, Andreessen Horowitz and Polychain folks are very much involved as a VC with Definity and Internet Computer. So, uh, you know, this has been known for years and years and years. Saudi Arabia reportedly talks with VC firms like Andreessen Horowitz to create a $40 billion AI fund. So there's going to be other firms like Andreessen Horowitz, uh, like Polychain, that are going to probably get involved with Saudi Arabia when it comes to building this AI fund. ICP being the most advanced uh, at this stage of the game, will probably be considered by Saudi Arabia to uh, make some sort of investments uh, in that uh, industry. Uh, I got my FTX risk management shirt on today, baby. Why? Because guess what? I'm feeling real spicy. And in today's video, FTX's new boss disputes company financial health in a court note. Now, I am happy to report that there is some good stuff going on here, but there is a double-edged sword. There was only 105 Bitcoin left in FTX's custody when they collapsed. And there are customer claims of nearly 100,000 Bitcoin. So this is a big deal. But there was some extensive efforts uh, basically to stabilize FTX clawing back properties, selling them off, things like that, uh, which basically led to an unexpected discovery of $7 billion in assets, like I mentioned. Homes, things like that. Airplanes, probably. Uh, a significant part of the $8.7 billion owed to customers. So this is really kind of one of those things where that's great, but guess what the government wants to do? The government wants to eat, right? So Ray noted that, and Ray is the gentleman who is uh, managing FTX's bankruptcy. He is the CEO of FTX right now. Um, he basically stepped in with due to his experience in kind of 
forensic accounting when it comes to these exchanges, businesses that have collapsed dramatically, uh, and there's fraud involved. So uh, there is uh, an interesting situation here because now the U.S. government wants to hit FTX with nine billions, nine billion in claims for fines and penalties. <sighs> you know, I'd like to see all these you know, fines and penalties go away. And I would like to see these creditors get made whole first. Anything that's left on the table can go to the government as far as I'm concerned. Or maybe it can just all go to everyone impacted by FTX. Uh, but uh, there is an interesting uh, a thing here. Uh, you know, Sam Bankman's lawyers have been asking for a reduction in the 40 to 50 year prison sentence that the judge is recommending to 63 to 78 months. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. North Korea, folks, I might actually be going to North Korea this October and it's going to be insane. I can't tell you guys anything about it, but um, <laughs> it's going to get wild. I hope I get to go. Um, it will be an experience of a lifetime. But uh, North Korean hackers <laughs> transfer to BlackRock via Tornado Cash. ETH. Oh, my goodness. What a crazy thing that's going on here. Uh, this situation could bring challenges for BlackRock due to its security around Tornado Cash. Um, you know, stuff like this is going to happen. They're going to need to hire some good lawyers to keep track of all this ETH that has gone through Tornado Cash since the U.S. government is up in a tizzy about uh, Tornado Cash. They went and arrested the Tornado Cash developer. He's sitting in prison right now for doing absolutely nothing wrong. Um, you know, so this is going to be interesting to see how this uh, plays out. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. Uh, we got crypto bubbles, baby. The market's in the red, except for ICP. $13 and a penny. Right now, we are kind of seeing the possibility of what might be the continuation of this symmetrical triangle. Obviously, this little news PR stunt that Definity and Dominic Williams polled yesterday with this AI stuff, which was absolutely great, has helped rebound this price a little bit. Uh, so right now, I am hoping to kind of see this play out, and I'm hoping to see Elliott Wave Theory uh, to the next uh, stage. So really, we are just kind of in this sideways uh, trading uh, pattern, and I am hoping to see Elliott Wave Theory move like this to the upside. And I, I'm hoping that we see at least a $50 ICP coming up within the next, you know, four to six months uh, or sooner. Uh, but it, it is what it is. Let's just kind of look at ICP on the weekly chart. And you can see how back in October, ICP rose up. And now we've just been trading sideways for the last two months, three months, maybe even four months. So this is fine. This is fine. Price went up way too quick. Even when price was out back in December, I was telling people, we're going to need to wait till April at least before we see this next continuation pattern happen because price is too far from this Ichimoku cloud right now. But we're still sitting good. And I do think that we are going to see price action maybe squeeze right into this little symmetrical triangle and we'll see this 50 moving average probably do something like this and once price action gets a little closer to this 50 moving average i think that's when we're going to begin this next leg to the upside when we're talking elliott wave theory wave two to three needs to be longer than wave zero to two so at this point we would expect a minimum of at least a $55 ICP somewhere in that neighborhood, 50 to $55. We need to break through this $20-ish area, uh, but 50 would be the price tag to break. And then, of course, 
Uh, my next guess would be probably this $85 ish uh, level. Now, it's interesting because my dad has been watching these videos, and I've been trying to tell him for the last year to get in at about three or four dollars on ICP. And now all of a sudden he's interested in it at $15 a coin. So I think that there is still plenty of meat left on the bones for ICP. Obviously with these new developments and stuff like that, with this AI stuff, I mean, we could see this, this move here, uh, wave zero or two to three rip all the way up to $85. And we could see maybe wave four to five, you know, maybe rip up to this $135 level. We just don't know until we know. But I am hoping to see this type of price structure going forward. That is my hope for this. I love you guys all. Thank you for watching. Also, I'm producing a documentary for the ICP Community Conference. And it's going to be covering how I was able to discover that FTX <laughs> hosed the ICP launch, how they hosed Ronin Network, kind of like how all this information came to light. But here is a little teaser video for you. Mwah. Thank you for watching. Peace out. What I knew and how FTX is like crooked and washing out exchanges and protect Sam's investments and FTX and Alameda's investments primarily in the Solana, uh, you know, ecosystem. But like when it comes to Celsius, like I had nothing concrete, it was just rumors, but you have something to talk about with that. The Celsius crash, FTX, and Alameda. The large percentage of the trades on FTX, will think they were not real.